Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com, your home of exciting Excel dashboard techniques that you can use in your next Excel dashboard for your company and executives. Well, today we have a user that wanted to know how do I make a rating system uh, for my dashboard that is represented by a pie, as you can see here, uh, and it's going to be uh, a total out of three. And so they said if I had a rating of 1.5, uh, that it would be half of a pie, and if I had a rating of three, it would be the whole pie, uh, and then of course anything in between. So how do we go about doing that? Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, first off, you have your rating, and you have your total that you want to create for that. Um, what we want to do is we want to create an empty pie slice, and then have the rest of the pie uh, be represented as well. So let's go ahead and calculate what the empty pie slice would be. We're going to do equals and we're going to get the total that the pie could equal, and we're going to subtract our rating, which is what our pie slice is going to be. This is going to equal our empty pie slice. And then for the rest of the pie, we want to say that is equal to the total pie less what is missing, and then we have two. Okay, so we want to highlight that range. We want to go up to our Insert menu, Pie Chart, and we want to select a 2D pie chart that up here so that you can see it a little better. So we have two slices. We have the empty part of the pie and then the whole pie. What I want you to do right now is just go ahead and write, uh, make sure you're not selecting any part of the pie, then right click on the pie and you would see format data series right here. Select that uh, and then what we want to do is we want to create a border color around the entire pie and we're going to click on a solid line and we're going to make that color equal to the uh, pie that's going to remain, which is that red color. Kind of hard to see here, or you may want to highlight it a little bit more so we can increase our border size. I'll just try 10 and see what that does. That's probably a little big. How about 5? Uh, and click on close. Let's take a look at that. So we now have a border going around that, and now we're going to create the empty space. I'm going to click in my chart. I'm going to click on that pie empty again uh, a second time, and then right click, and you now see it says format data point. I'm going to click on Format Data Point, and I want to change the fill of this data point, and I want to change it to No Fill, so it's going to be blank or empty. Click on Close, and uh, you can now see we're getting pretty close to the final chart. I'm going to click on my Legend and delete it, since I don't need that anymore. I'm going to go up to my Layout ribbon, and I'm going to uh, add a chart title, and I'm going to put it above the chart so that we know what the rating is. Now there's another post where you can learn a little bit more about this, but I'm going to hit the equal sign and I'm going to pick a cell out in my uh, range, which is our rating. Now out here in my rating, I want this to always show what the number that is uh, out of. So I'm going to go equals, and we're going to do quotes rating. Uh, we're going to do the ampersand. Works just like concatenate. You can find more about that posting on my web blog as well. Uh, and we are going to say, uh, let's put a space in there. Do the ampersand rating of this uh, cell B2. We're going to do another ampersand quotes space out of another space end quotes ampersand and then the second cell. And I'm going to hit enter. And now look, my chart now says rating two out of three. And uh, as we change any numbers here, so we say it's one. It's a one out of three. Uh, so you can dynamically link your chart title, create some empty pie space uh, that's a negative area, and uh, make it dynamically linked to your chart. So you can learn more about these Excel techniques and other charting techniques at excel-boardtemplates.com. Please also click on the subscribe button so that you're sure to get the latest charting technique for your next dashboard project. Thanks and have a great day.